Hello everyone, it's PCL Pair here and in today's video I'll be showing you how to fix is done.dll and an arc.tla error for the game NBA 2K20. So I've got a few possible workarounds for this issue and I'm sure once you follow all the steps your problem will be solved for sure. So let's get started. So the first step is a really easy one. In this we'll be clean booting our PC and I have made a separate video, a quick guide of 2 minutes on how to clean boot your PC. You can access that video by clicking on the upper right corner of your screen right now or you can just see that video by clicking the link in the description of this video. I've provided the link of that video in the description of this one. So it's really easy to do so, so just watch that video and proceed to the second step. In the second step, we'll be disabling our antivirus. It is a really important step if you're facing this error because sometimes antivirus doesn't support the doesn't support a particular game and does not allow to install it on your PC. So many PCs can have se several separate antivirus software. So by default, every Windows PC has Windows Defender. So I'll show you how to turn off Windows Defender. Just write Defender in your search box and go to Virus and Threat Protection. wait for it to load and here it's still loading here it is so under virus and threat protection go to manage settings and under real time protection turn it off so once you've turned it off that's it that's how you can disable your antivirus now let's come to the third and fourth step these are the most important ones so listen carefully so the third step is changing the name of the setup folder and changing the directory so the PC I'm using for recording does not have NV2K20. So I'll show you the same on how to do the same with NV2K20 with the help of Vampire Repack. So if you are having NV2K20 Repack, you have to do the same. So first change the name of the setup folder. For example, the name of my setup folder is Vampire Repack 2. For you it might be NV2K20 Repack or something. So just change its name to NV2K20 Repack to anything else. You can change it to NBA 2K20 Repack 1, 2 or anything else. So once you change the name of the setup folder, open the setup. For you the name of the setup file might be something else as, as the game is different. So just proceed, OK. And here limit installer to 2GB RAM usage and click on next. And now the most important part. You have to do the same with NBA 2K20 Repack. So by default the location is in C drive games web c c drive program files 86 and somewhere inside it so you have to browse and change it to somewhere else except c drive so so i'll change it to d drive games and click on ok so once you have changed that drive it will definitely work but if it still doesn't work for you you can proceed to the next step now in this step we'll be changing the priority of our setup to high so you have to do the same with the NBTQ20 setup. I'm doing it for Vampire Epac. Just right click on your task manager and open task manager. And here find the setup of the game. And here right click on it and go to its details. And here you will find two files setup.exe, set its priority to real time. And setup.tmp also sets it set its priority to real time. So once you have done so and now you have to click on next and this time while installing this game you will not face is done.dll and arc.dll error but if by any chance the error still persists you have to follow the fifth step so in the last step we'll be downloading the dll files if nothing works for you you have to download dll files in the end so just search for download is done.dll on google and go to this first link by dllfiles.com once you go to this link scroll down and in front of 32 bit version click on download so the downloading of isdn.dll will be started after that so don't worry if you are if you have clicked in front of 32 bit version because 32 bit version works for both of the versions that is 32 bit and 64 bit i'm cancelling it because i've already downloaded it now search for download anarch.dll go to this first link again by dllfiles.com and again select the version in front of 32 bit version even if you have a 64 bit pc the version is same for both 32 bit and 64 bit so its downloading will also start in few seconds and i will not be downloading it again as i've already downloaded it 
So once you've downloaded both of these files, all of you have to do is go to your downloads folder, search for isdin, and here it is isdin.dll winrar zip file. Copy this isdin.dll and extract it to C drive, Windows, and if you have a 32-bit PC, you have to extract it to System32. But if you have a 64-bit PC like mine, you have to extract it to Sys 64 Click on OK and Yes to all. Now do the same with anarch.dll. Search for it. Anarch and select this anarch.dll file. Extract it to Acer C. Mm, that is your C drive, Windows and if you have a 32-bit PC extract it to system32 but if you have a 64-bit PC extract it to sysfor64 okay, sysfor64 here it is and click on OK and yes yes to all and that's it so that's it for the last step now these were the 5 steps if you follow all the steps then definitely your problem will be fixed I'm 100% sure about it. So if this works for you, please hit the like button below. And also don't forget to subscribe for more. Thank you and have a nice day.